With us now are representatives of Lisa. I met them recently. I was very passionate about their cause. It happens to be a high school on Long Island that they're trying to save. Welcome to the show. How are you? Good. Good. Yeah. And what does that stand for? What is it's Long Island High School for the Arts or it's, Long Island? It's the the Long Island High School for the Arts. Okay. And the Doshi STEM Institute. Gotcha. So it's a combination of it's things. It's a combination school. I went to your open house. I was so impressed. You have wonderful facilities there. So many things that are going on. Uh, tell us a little bit about why you're here today. What's going on right now with the school? We are here today because our school is in jeopardy of closure due to um, a, a deficit in funds. And we were told at a board meeting back in November that if we, you know, didn't step up and bring funding and state awareness that um, that we would have no chance of survival. So in 48 hours, that's just kind of what we did. <laughs> you got together. Yeah. So you're part of the uh, parent organization, and what is that? So how did how did the parents just started coming together saying, "Listen, this is important for our kids that we want to keep the school open." Well, we met at a board meeting, and we wanted to work together to do everything that needed to be done to save the school. So we decided to organize. And there are six parents who got together and decided to create a parent association. And we figured it would work better uh, if we were organized and we could <laughs> send emails to everyone and coordinate our efforts and, and really make the most out of our efforts. And that's give us some, I was going to say, say, that's kind of what, ha what right. happened. We, we ended up being the most vocal parents <laughs> at that meeting. And right. we're like, who are you? I want to meet you. Who are you? I, we need to all talk. And then it, we were formed. Right. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? And how can we? Where did you come from? <laughs> Where did you come from? And how can we help you? Right. And it really worked out great because everybody brings different talents to the table. We have a financial guy. He's great with trying to get funding. I'm an attorney, so I kind of handle some of that end of things. Jen is like our powerhouse energy person. Will approach anybody <laughs> and ask for anything and makes things happen. So everybody brings different talents, and and we all. There's three parents who have children in the arts school and three parents who have children in the STEM school. They're kind of like sister schools and then hopefully they'll be combined and survive. And that's why STEM is looking to become STEAM. Right. Right? Because they're going to add the arts component into... Well, it would be, it would actually encompass the entire philosophy of the school because it's a hub for arts and a hub for sciences. So it's a natural, a natural um, space to bring that, that edu educational philosophy together. Now, if I understand things correctly, what happens is is that uh, kids that are going to a public school, um, if they want to have a more intensive study, they mm -hmm. actually have to audition to get into this particular for, school? For, um, for me, at least, okay. uh, you have to approach your guidance counselor about it. You have to actively request and keep requesting to go to the school, and you fill out an application. If the school, your home school, your home public school, approves you going to the school, then you go and you have an interview or an audition. I'm not sure how the STEM program works. You can answer every, that. Every program's a little process. bit different, has okay. different yeah. process. But it's pretty intensive. You it is, yeah. Audition portfolio, we had to, interview. We had to do, uh, for I'm in the Drama pro program, we had to do 32 bars of a song, a two-minute monologue, and we had to write an essay. Oh, have an interview and do an improv. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. So then once your home school district decides that yes, you can go, then it's funded because the school district sends funds for that particular student almost as a sponsorship or a they like to go? Tuition. A tuition to go. Okay. So the problem is is that there's low enrollment at the school, the high school right now. A, because there's not a lot of awareness. Mm -hmm. Parents do not know. Students do not know that it's a choice. Mm -hmm. And right. then you've got the double problem of encouraging or um, helping the school districts realize that this is an important solution right. for those that are in uh, the science, the technology, right? I mean, the districts are under tremendous financial pressure because okay. of the tax cap. So finding that extra tuition to send a, a student out of district can be difficult for them. But I mean, I go from, I'm from a very small district, Malvern, and we send 16 children to the STEM Institute. So I, we believe that there's ways to make it work, but, but the school districts and their communities have to understand that there's value there, that these are really ex excellent efforts educational opportunities for their kids, for those kids that can really benefit from an immersive environment and who are passionate and talented about these fields, whether it be art, theater, dance, or someone in the science who wants to be an engineer. These are the kids who are going to go to these colleges and pursue that in college. They're going to have careers the difference in these between, fields. The difference between doing, you know, 
science or math at your home school or taking a drama program or even AP music theory or something. The difference between that is that's an academic setting. This is a career-based setting. So we're preparing to go to college. We're preparing to further our education and go into these fields and hopefully make a huge impact. And I was I was blown away. I really was so impressed. Yeah. You know, I was like, I wish I could have gone to the school. <laughs> I, I want to go. I want to go. So. And that's a big obstacle, I think, you know, that um, a lot of the many of the districts who are not participating or might have been pulling back, they're coming to us and saying, you know, we have a fabulous arts department. We have a great music program. And, mm -hmm. and it's our job to say, yes, you, you do. But it's not enough for an all hour the a week there. or an hour a day. It's, it's, not, it's not enough right. for some hours children. A day. Right, it's not enough, right? It's, it's, and the whole time, it's not, it's not you're spending 40 minutes focusing on one project, you're focusing on the field as a whole. You're not only, see, seniors in, in the musical theater program, we, I'm, I'm not a senior, but there's an entire class based on preparing audition materials for colleges. You can take a course in theater history that gives you a college credit for it so that you're ready to go to college and you're ready to go into your fields and you know what you're getting into. Michael, thank you. That was like really well put because that's exactly <laughs> what needs to happen. Uh, my daughter graduated from um, High School East, uh, Dix Hills, and she did, they have a wonderful, fantastic program, but she just wanted more. So then, mm -hmm. you know, we paid for the extra lessons and then they helped to put her, you know, college portfolio together and she did fantastic. She went to Micon Scholarship. I, I couldn't be more proud of her. She's a sculptor and a painter. Um, but there's a lot of times where even if the um, arts programs are being disconnected or are discontinued, you know, and they're lacking funding at some of the other districts, where, where can these kids go that are creative and talented? No, you know, on but they, Island. Right. we're on Island. We're the only place. Especially, <laughs> especially for low income where there's a, there's a thing where the higher your income, you can hire tutors or take out of school classes. But if you're lower income, you can't afford that. Correct. They're so being going, underserved. So going right. to this public school, which is being paid for by the district is such a huge opportunity whether it be for science or for the arts. So how can we get involved? How can we save uh, this program? I know that you've got a recent celebrity endorsement that's helping mm -hmm. you. Let's talk about that really yeah. quick so, before we wrap up. So the, so the entire, it's, it's, it's about, you know, lining up all of the stars to make everything happen the way we need it to happen. It's, it's you, we need um, state funding and we have a piece of legis legislation that is um, that is being proposed called the STEAM pilot proposal from okay. NASA BOCES and Senator Carl Marcelino that will join the arts and the sciences together. Which is, and which is very important because in order for the Board of Regents to have an arts or a science path to, to, um, to graduation, having a program, a regional high school like this is, is fundamental and it already exists. Absolutely. So you, you've so got you have legislation going we on. Have this okay. path, and then on top of that, we need parents to, to actually know that the pro program exists Spread the word. and to advocate for their children and to go speak to their PTAs and their boards and, and ask them to and ask them to bring the arts and sciences into their school through our, our schools. Okay. And then on top of it we also n needed a, a, you know a donation. You a know, champion. Donation. You, needed, needed a you need champion. a champion. And your and champion so right now is Billy Joel. Our champion is Billy <laughs> Not Joel. Not a bad champion. <laughs> and, and i got to tell you, he's a man of his word. I Great. Never, he, no, he's reached an all new level of greatness for, for I think I could speak for all of us. Yeah. He really, um, he, this wasn't just I am going to give you money and walk away. This is I am going, I am ready to support you, you know, personally, financially, and, you know, if I do this, then you know, then 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 the board has to commit to us staying open for at minimum three years. So we're waiting for that to happen. So I know everybody. Yes, Billy Joel is amazing. He, you know, he's done so much for us, and we're excited about everything that is going to come. But um, and the board has been fabulous and working really closely with us. But we really we we really am waiting are waiting for that yes from Excellent. them. Excellent. We need people to write to their state representatives okay. in the legislature uh, to tell them they support the STEAM pilot proposal because what that does is it would have the state directly fund the tuition. It would take the financial burden off the districts. Yes. They wouldn't have to pay tuition to send the children in. So there would be a huge barrier lifted to sending more kids and enrollment would increase. Okay. So please so here we go. Let's go, and let's go for it. Right? And we huge. need the districts to tell the kids that the program is available you know, to you, them. If you have a kid who's in, at, at least for the arts program, you know, ninth, 10th, 11th grade that's interested in going, and pursuing this, send in an application. Send in an application to the sh school. Show the board that there's interest. If you're, if you're, um, I believe for STEM, you have to get interested in seventh and eighth grade to go yes, into the program. Yes, eighth grade is apply. You know, okay. start working Doing towards it. it. Show 
the the board, not only the BOCES board, but show your school board that you have interest and that this is something that will be taken advantage of by the students and it's and it's something that people have interest in. Excellent. Well, I thank you guys for being here. I, I knew that it was perfect for my brand because Live It Up is all about that. It's all about celebrating the essence of life. With my background being in the arts, you know, I'm proud to meet all of you and I will be one of your advocates, one of your cheerleaders. I will use whatever power and whatever uh, prestige of having you be on the television show to help you get awareness out there. I thank you so much for being here. Thank I'm you. excited because I feel like now I think I think what you've done together, you know, I think a movie should be made about it. You know, how the parents <laughs> met and then, you know, Michael comes the on. Grassroots and, movement. Exactly. It, it like certainly it. is. It's amazing what things can be done when people work together and they collaborate. So thank you so much for being here. Hey, we hope that you liked this community spotlight. There's probably something that's happening in your part of the country as well. So, you know, get involved. Do what you can. Uh, collaborate and make a difference. Thanks for watching. Live it up.